Wayne all back for another lesson and an absolutely amazing song today, Strawberry Fields Forever by the Beatles. Um, this version is sort of based around the Noel Gallagher version if you want to check that one out. Uh, it's actually a lot easier to play, a great one to sing, obviously the capo is on the second fret. Uh, there's no bar chords in there so without further ado, let's get to it. Okay so this song is in standard tuning but as I said in the intro you're going to want the capo on the second fret okay and this version is sort of based around the Noel Gallagher version, so if you want to check that out, I think that's up live on uh, YouTube. So the chords, it starts off with the chorus, there's only really two parts to this, which is the, the chorus and the verse, which is going to pretty much repeat throughout the song. Uh, but it actually starts with a chorus. Now the first chord is going to be a G. I'm going to go through the strumming pattern in a short while, so I'll just keep it at sort of straight strumming at the moment. So we're going to go with G. Let me take you down. So I'm going to, we're going to go to a D minor, Strawberry Fields, then we're going to go to an E7, now there's different ways that you can play an E7, but the way that I'm going to do it is if you take a regular E chord, and we're going to take the second finger off, okay, gives you this lovely sounding E7 chord, so starting again we've got the G, D minor, E7, okay, here we go, so, let me take you down, Going to strawberry fields. E7. Nothing is real. Now we're going to go to a C. Now you can do a regular C, but the C that I usually do is the one with the G bass in. So those that don't know that, you take a regular C chord, move the third finger to the third fret relative to the capo on the E string, and the little finger is going to go on underneath the third fret on the A string, we just get this lovely biffy sounding uh, C chord. Then we're going to go to an E, then back to a C, and then into a G. Okay, now you can either do, you know, the four finger G that Noel does a lot, but I tend to, on this song, is do, we're changing from that style C, is the second, third and fourth finger, and occasionally it's nice to put this, you know, put this little embellishment in with the first finger, on the first fret on the B string, obviously relative to the capo. So I'll just sing that through, um, here we go, so. Let me take you down, cause we're going to strawberry fields. Nothing is real, nothing to get hung about, strawberry fields. Forever. Okay, so then we're going to go into the verse. So the verse is a D, a D major 7, so that's just barring, you know, the, the top three strings, the E, the B and the G string. And then we're going to do a D7 chord, so we get this. Go to an E minor. In all you see, let me go to the C. C, D7, okay, and then we're going to do this little run down from a G, so it's going to go G, the first finger, we leave the two fingers on the bottom because at this stage we're doing the four finger G, we're going to put the first finger, second fret on the E string, 
loyalty to the capo. Uh, an E minor, seven, keeping the two fingers on, and I'm going to take the second finger off. And then we're going to go to a C add nine, a D seven, and then a C add nine, and a G. Okay? And I'm going to sing that through really slowly so you can obviously see how all that goes together. So we got the. Living is easy with eyes closed. Misunderstanding all you see. It's getting hard to be someone, but it all works out. Doesn't mean that much to me. Okay, so that's going to be a verse. Then you're back into the chorus again. So we got the. Let me take you down, cause we're going to Strawberry Fields. It is nice on the verse to, on the D minor to do this little D sus4, adding the little finger on the third fret on the top E string. Nothing is real, nothing to get hung about. Strawberry Fields. Okay, and at this point, I obviously did it earlier in the intro, there's this little rundown. I think it's quite cool to put this in. Uh, so what we do on the top E string. Okay, so I'll just talk us through that. So we're going to do a slide on the top E string to 10. From obviously 9. We're going to go to 9 on the top E string, to 10 on the B. To 9. That is on the G. Seven, six, four, and then we're going to go open. Obviously, I'm ignoring the capo and just reading the frets out, you know, as they would be anyway on the guitar. So again, we've got this little slide on the top E string into ten. We go to nine, ten on the B, nine on the G, seven, six, two, and then we play an open string. Okay, let me go back into the verse and into the chorus again. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of the song. So the strumming pattern that I use, obviously there's different time chords on this, but most of the chords, obviously, I'd start off with a single strum, so... Let me take you down, cause we're going to strawberry fields. So when you get into the chords, a nice pattern to use will be a down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Now those that struggle with strumming patterns, I did do a little strumming series about a year ago, so if you go into my playlist and look at technique lessons, there is a little strumming course, so you could obviously brush up on your strumming. Uh, but this is the pattern I think that's gonna get you most of the way through the song. So down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. So. Let me take you down, cause we're going to down. Down, down, down. Okay, and the chords that go sort of half a time, you're just going to go down, 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 down. So half time will be down, 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 up. Like the C to the E there. Okay, and that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, and like I say, it's probably one of my favourite Beatles songs. It's definitely in the top five anyway. It does tend to change from day to day because, you know, they wrote so many great songs. Uh, and this is definitely one of them. It's a nice song to play this, you know, the old way, the capo up way. It's a good one to play at open mics or at parties or, you know, just for fun or whatever. So it's a good one to get down. Uh, if you've got any other requests for any other, not just Beatles or Oasis songs, because uh, I've done tons of them, uh, anything within reason, 50s to modern day, you can either comment in the post below, or a good way to reach me these days on social media, you can fire a message over, I do always try and reply to messages. So I'm Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and also now Instagram, so that way, like you say, you can send me a personal message. I'm not just putting a request in, if you want to ask some advice about, you know, maybe buying a guitar or 
I frequently get asked about scrubby patterns. You know, if you want to, you want to ask me anything, I will try my best to sort of resolve that for you. So uh, there we go. Uh, I'd just like to thank everyone who subscribed and who continues to do so. Uh, if I just say if you hit that notification bell every time I post a video up, which is usually once or twice a week, you know you're going to get a notification and you can get on the video straight away. So there we go. So uh, thanks very much for watching, whether it's night, day, whenever it is you're watching, and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care of yourself and each other.